Trevor Bauer is in some deep, deep trouble. Over the last few months, Bauer has been on paid administrative leave because of a woman who accused him of assaulting her during an encounter that they had. The Dodgers have seemed to erase all trace of Bauer being part of their organization, his own teammates have all seemed to turn on him, is reportedly not wanted back in the clubhouse, another woman reportedly pressed charges against Bauer, and not only is he likely to not throw another pitch in 2021, but he may never throw another pitch in the major leagues again. Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel and end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. At the end of June, Trevor Bauer was accused by a woman of putting her in the hospital after an encounter that they had. The argument from Bauer and his party is that everything was consensual. Her argument is that although she did agree to meeting him, she didn't agree with what Bauer did to end up putting her in the hospital. Rachel Luba, Bauer's agent, put out a long statement soon after the incident and lawsuit became public and limited replies to most of her tweets on Twitter. Bauer has disabled the ability to comment on any of his YouTube videos and up until recently hadn't spoken out on the issue. The Dodgers have taken the very safe route in condemning what Bauer has done, not publicly with their words, but more so with their actions. Bauer was supposed to have a bobblehead night during the second half of the season to which the Dodgers decided to cancel. They also got rid of all of Bauer's merchandise from the team's store, shelves, and online store. And as for his Dodger teammates, they seem to be distancing themselves from him as much as possible. Justin Turner, Kenley Jansen, Chris Taylor, Mookie Betts, Max Muncy, and Dustin May all hit the unfollow button on Bauer's Instagram account. And whenever they've been asked about how they feel about this situation, they don't give a direct answer and really just talk about how happy they are to have the guys that they have, seeming like they just want to move on. When asked about the situation at the 2021 All-Star Game in July, Justin Turner said this, quote, we're not really sure what's going on there. We're just going to show up every day with what we have in the clubhouse and find a way to win ball games. The distraction is outside our clubhouse. We get paid to win baseball games, end quote. Max Muncy then had this to say when asked about it, and it was pretty interesting. Quote, I think we're going to move forward with the guys we have. It's tough. I don't want to comment on his situation. We have a lot of depth we can fill in with pieces. End quote. Those two comments made by Turner and Muncie tell you a lot. None of them have defended their teammate in any way, shape, or form. And according to a report, two people with knowledge of the Dodgers clubhouse dynamics have said that the majority of Dodgers players would not welcome him back to the clubhouse. It took a while, but Bauer finally felt the need to say something, tweeting that he can no longer be silent. What Bauer said in his long statement posted on Twitter was that the Washington Post had allegedly reached out to hundreds of Bauer's female friends from over the years, many of which he hadn't spoken to in a long time, trying to create a false narrative. The reason he finally broke the silence was because of the Washington Post, which came out with a report on yet another woman, this time from Ohio, who had reportedly accused Bauer of choking and hitting her during an encounter and sought a temporary order of protection against him back in June of 2020. The woman also claimed that Bauer sent her death threats via text messaging, as he allegedly said that he doesn't feel like going to jail for killing someone, which is something that would happen if he saw her again. There is tons of more info on the whole situation regarding the other woman who accused him, and the link to the article will be in the description. The first day of the restraining order hearing against Bauer from the woman in San Diego took place very recently, and here is what happened. The woman demonstrated exactly what Bauer had done to choke her, claiming that she was scared in pain, thrown around like a rag doll, and not being treated like a human being. The bottom line is the fact that Bauer is in trouble. When you really read more into the two scenarios with Bauer and these women, they definitely don't seem very stable, but neither does he. It's an overall incredibly messed up situation, and one that will all be hopefully resolved soon. As far as Bauer goes, he has most likely thrown his last pitch for the 2021 season, his last pitch for the Dodgers, and quite possibly the very last pitch ever in his major league career. Nothing is set in stone, but it isn't looking good, and the lack of defense from his Dodger teammates who seem ready to move on certainly doesn't help. Let me know what you think about the whole situation and what will come of it, and thank you for watching.